I think Olimar does do fairly good in this matchup. Uh, they can, uh, you can zone out Kazuya quite a bit. And uh, Kazuya does struggle to kind of get rid of it. But, he, but Olimar does also die very early to uh, anything Kazuya has because of how light he is. Very nice up air screen right off the bat. Oh, shields the electric, the platform saved, uh, saved Kendo right there. Misses the laser, gets blocked by the stage. Tries to go for an F smash. Uh, so it looks like Smooth Marfin is struggling to get in against it. Oh, there we go. Never mind. With the down smash beats out the up. -y. That was a very risky down smash from Candle right there. That up smash, that up would have killed them. That, and the downer, it does not take it. But it was very close. They went for a down air again. But the up smash will hit. Alright. Even though they are stuck above, Candle is still in a very dangerous spot. The Pikmin were not there. They could not get the grab. Hit the jab lock. Very nice. Very good parry on the forward air. This is the down air though. Oh, wonderful DI from, from Candle. Immaculate DI from Candle. They are living longer than up. There we go. That up B will take it. But they were Candle was living longer than any Olimar should against Kazuya. Especially with how hard this character is. So they're just trying to rack up some damage and get some hurt. But the whiff grab will result in an up smash taking it. Looks like Kendall is trying to get the uh, double purple white Pikmin shell going. They do have the double purples now. And that will take it. Olimar is incredibly light. One of the lightest characters in this game. They were once the same exact weight as Sephiroth. Actually, I'm pretty sure they are the same weight as Sephiroth. The F Smash will not take it. But the Rude Marfan is in a very dangerous spot. Their Pikmin is gone. Kendall does need to get it. Does need to get some Pikmin going, or else they will not be able to get any combos or any damage out. This is very dangerous. You do not want to be in the corner against Kazuya. Especially not when they have range drive. Race drive down B will just kill Alamar here, no matter where they are on stage. One more hit, I think. Alright, and that will take it. Blue Pikmin up throw. Alright, game one does go to Candle. Looks like they are just running it back right away. No need for ban free from either of them. Let's see if Drew Marfin can get something going better than they did in the last game. Turn this around. Because whoever loses this does get sent home at third. Kazuya does not really have an answer for getting uh, Pikmin off of them. It, but it really depends on where they are. Very nice for catching the jump from the, the forward air. Oh, and the down smash will take it. It's a very dangerous spot. They're lucky that did not hit forward. Oh, they spaced that down smash perfectly. They did not get hit by the LB coming out of shield. Very nice jab lock. This is a very dangerous spot for Kazuya. Kazuya's recovery isn't the worst, but it is fairly linear. He does not have a lot of options when he's going. He does. He does only only have to go up, and only his up and only his upbeat has a hitbox. The footstool. You see that? I'm sure that was pretty interesting. Did not tech the side B. You have to be ready to tech those. Very, very nice. 
Kindle is just running over the Super Big Mario Man this game. They are not letting them get anything started. It's honestly amazing how great they are. Their advantage state is. And we got a three stock. Game two going to Candle. Hopefully Super Big Mario Fan can get something going. Or else they will be they will be going out 3-0 at third place. It looks like they're just running it back to small battlefield once again. And it looks Go! like it looks like the Ring Mark is actually picking Terry this time. I actually think Terry probably does a little bit better than uh, Kazuya in this matchup. I think he's uh, he's a little bit more mobile, and uh, but he does still have to suffer from the fact that he will get edge guarded quite easily by most of the characters because Terry's up and does not indeed snap the ledge. But this is already looking like a very great choice. Ring Marfan is currently quite far in the lead. Only taking 29%, as opposed to Candle being at 89%. Oh, but, but with all of our damage output, it can like easily snowball. It can easily turn around. It can it can easily snowball with how how strong Purple Pikmin is. It, that is a super big Mario fan. Let's let's talk. Candle breathe to get enough purples. Well, they do currently have two purples right now. It seems like either one is oh, struggling. Oh, all right, that will take the first stock. The charged up beat. Charge Rising Tackle is very strong. And you can charge it while you're doing the jab. Alright, Candle will have to get something going in order to turn this around. And the... the first stop. Also the, the Rising Tackle, um, especially off a of jab jab, it helps uh, combat the SDI you can do out of jab jab power Yes, if you're not ready for it, you could be 100% DIing the wrong way and just die extra early quick. Right. Seems Candle is struggling to uh, is struggling to close his stock out. Terry does not get edge guarded as easily as most other characters do, because um, Burn and Knuckle does have a big hitbox. Both and it's them. invincible on the hand. Yeah, every every single move Terry has to recover does have a hitbox, and they can get rid of Pikmin. Yep. Um, Burn Knuckle has input. Burn Knuckle has invincibility on the hand. Input Rising Tackle is just invincible. He has good coverage of himself, even if he doesn't snap ledge that well. Yeah, but that that's not snapping the ledge could be a very big deficit in this game. Oh, the oh, Buster Wolf the, the the just through the F-Smash. Yep. That, that is a Terry moment, for sure. Certified Terry moment. It looks like this was the very correct choice. But, unfortunately, it is currently tied up. And Handle does have their Pikmin lineup going. They do have a triple Pikmin. This could be quite dangerous for a Super League Mario fan. False oh, on the combo. But the crack shoot took out two Pikmin. Unfortunately, Handle got them right back. Plucking, plucking Pikmin is really fast. Um, all, all of this, all these side B's getting all that damage over time on on um, Super Big Mario fan gets them all the, the white way up Pikmin to 90%. Is, the white Pikmin is such a great, is such a great option. If you don't get that white Pikmin off of you. Then you're just in danger of taking like an easy 60%. And now we got double purple double on the field. Fire. This is looking grim. But this is still scary for both of them. Yep, because both of them can probably kill. Both of them definitely can kill. All it takes is one. Ooh, the roll, the roll. I think that'll. Is that gonna kill? Never mind. Not gonna kill at all. Very um, good DI coming from Candle Out. Or just avoiding, avoiding these back ears. That was almost dangerous. Side B. Um, and back this is, is not going to kill. Okay. There the we have it. Will kill. All right. Candle, candle takes, three takes over. the set. Candle takes, takes the set 3-0. 3-0 against the Rude Marathon. All right.